Where were you on September 11th? I was sitting at home. I was actually on the computer uh, preparing for a show later in the day, and uh, one of my friends on uh, AOL IM sent me an IM saying a plane just crashed into the World Trade Center, and he's one of those guys that, um, to put it mildly, he's a jokester. So I didn't take it very seriously until I turned on the television, and, and much to my horror, it wasn't a joke at all. Hey, this is Matt Shepard. I remember September 11th because I was at WDFN. We were in the bullpen actually trying to talk sports when we saw what was happening on the TV. And it was one of the few times where talk show hosts had nothing to say. All we could do was react and then a collective cry, quite honestly. It was interesting. Recently, we had a discussion on the air about tattoos and whether they are passe or are still in today. And a 47-year-old man emailed me and said, I recently got a tattoo, and it's of an eagle crying behind the flag of the United States of America, remembering September 11th. That's how a lot of us, I'm sure, remember that day. And how will I remember it? Just by raising our flag proudly each and every day, like I do, in a tribute to our troops. I will never forget the day, September 11th. It will be remembered for always. What will you do this September 11th? What will you do this September 11th? To get involved, go to 911day.org.